How's it going guys? Today I'm going to be making plaques. They're going to be 9 inches by 7 inches. It's going to be pretty small, uh, pretty easy to make. I'm going to be using um, uh, Philippian mahogany wood um, and I'm going to be staining it with red and then I'm going to and now I'm going to finish it. It's pretty simple. First, what I'm going to do is cut my 7 inches and just strip them. I have 10 feet of wood right now, so I'm just going to cut these, make them 7 inches wide, and then I'm going to cut my 9 inches after that. Okay, so I just got my seven inches on this wood. Now I'm gonna cross cut it to nine inches. So I have it set up already at nine inches right here. I'm just gonna cut as many as I can with this wood and the other piece of wood. And then we'll go from there. I just sand it one side, I'm gonna sand the other side, and then these edges, and go from there. Okay, try to sand all my edges. All edges are sanded. I'm not gonna worry about the face until I route it. Now, this next part is routing it. I'm gonna do the face part down and just route all the edges out. And then I'm gonna give. It, I'm gonna lift this up a little bit and route it a second time to smooth it out and give it a little nicer, cleaner look. <laughs> Okay, so I just finished routing all the faces. I had to touch it twice, uh, but it came out good so far. Next part is gonna be sanding, but before I do, I'm actually gonna route the edges so they're not sharp. I'm just gonna route the edges real quick. Then I'm gonna just put the keyhole here, and then um, then I'll sand the actual back and the face. Okay, so I just finished routing all my edges. I just routed this side and then the back I rounded it out so they're not sharp. The next thing I'm going to do is make a keyhole so whenever they're, they can be able to be hung on the wall or something like that. And then after that I can sand the, the, the back, sand the face. And for the edges, especially if it's grainy or there's marks, just grab a little sander like that just sand the edges so that's what i'm going to do next so if you're curious on what bit i use for the router i use a roman og bit quarter inch shank this is the one that uh that's mainly used for plaques and uh it has a good look to it and they're pretty popular so this is the style that i have for it it's gonna look a lot better once i clean it out okay so i just made a few of the keyholes uh they came out all right they look pretty good and centered so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to just continue on and move to the next ones the way I have it set up so y'all know, I have a clamp here and a spacer, and then I have, a, I'm gonna put another clamp here to hold it in place so it doesn't move. Just 
keeping that flush there so this right here i have it taped here so i already know exactly where i'm gonna land it this against the, the against the wood right here all i'm doing is just puncturing it in and then just sliding it back so And just like that, um, I made my keyhole. Now I'm not gonna show you doing all of them. I gotta keep taking it out, putting it on, but I have two more left after that. Then I'll move on to sanding. So for now, next step, gonna sand it. So I already did all the edges and all that. I'm just gonna sand the back, sand the face, and then with the with the edges here, um, I'm gonna edge it, I'm gonna sand it with this, not sanding it too much because I don't wanna, you know, wear it out too much and ruin the detail, but just sand it enough where I can get like most of the grooves in the and the grimy parts off. to this one so the one i'm using right now if, i don't know if you can see it but it's a uh, reg mahogany since i'm using a uh, uh, philippine mahogany i'm going to use reg mahogany for this and it's going to be a rich red color it's going to be really good for the blacks i'm going to be staining it once and according to this it takes 12 hours to dry so i'm going to wait my 12 hours i'm going to give it one last coat so right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to stain it then i'll wait around 10 minutes and then after my 10 minutes then i'll wipe it with a red rag so I'm gonna do the back first, um, then I'm gonna flip it, and then do the front. For the back, realistically, you only really need one stain. So I'm probably just gonna keep it with one stain on the back, but the front, I'll, I'll stain it twice. It's up to you. Uh, so now I'm gonna give a second, uh, first coat on the front and the edges. past 12 hours from when I previously stained it and so far it looks good it's all rich in color uh, the back honestly I don't need to stain it one more time I'm just gonna need the back as it is and the front is what I'm gonna worry about right now so the front I'm gonna stain it one more time if you're okay with how it looks right now you can leave it as is but I wanted to have a little more richer look and a little more darker tone so I'm gonna just coat it one more time I'm only doing the front and I'm doing the edges <music>
All right, I already did my second coat like around eight hours ago. Right now, I'm gonna be doing my finish on just the back side. They're not 100% ready on the front, but that's fine. It's been eight hours, they're pretty much um, mainly dry. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna flip them all. And all I'm gonna do is one coat of finish on the back. Um, tomorrow is when I'm actually do the finish on the front. And for the finish, the back, you only need like one coat, maybe two, but realistically only one. On the front, three coats. And again, I'm gonna use a gloss one just like I did on the cross. It's a gloss. I prefer the gloss. Uh, there's a semi-gloss and a satin. Um, let's get to it. morning time and I just flipped all these face up so now I'm gonna start doing the finish on the front and then I already did the back so for the front I'm gonna be doing three coats I'll do one coat right now I'll wait around 10-15 minutes do a second coat and then that second coat I'm gonna let that one sit for like a good hour and then after that I'll do the last coat and it should be done and just let it dry First finish and I would let it sit a little bit there a little bit grimy but it's fine I'm just gonna sand it lightly on the top and the edges a little bit and then I'll give it a second coat for this just use a 220 grit sander to smooth out any gritty surfaces that you have after just dust off the powder and give it a good finish and you should be good from there and here's my finished product so here's the front and then the back it said has a handcrafted and then the the keyhole is pretty shiny, pretty glossy, pretty good, a little dusty there, I can clean that off, uh, but that's pretty much it. It's eight total, there's two of them that I haven't done because I didn't finish shading them, but you can make ten of them pretty easily, it didn't take that long. The long process is just sanding it and finishing it and letting it dry. Besides that, everything else is done. Thanks for watching this video, if you have any questions or anything, leave it in the comments, let me know. Um, for this one, I'm gonna have a plate that's gonna go on it. That's gonna have all uh, the engravings of what I want um, I'm not gonna actually make it but I'll order that I already have one ordered for one specific plaque So you can do that if you want to make your own that's fine, too. This is just the basic um, Layout of just the, the wooden part of the plaque. Thank you for guys for watching and subscribe hit that like button and I'll see you guys later